Hello, I'm Congressman Bobby Schilling. I'm a lifelong resident of Illinois, born and raised in Rock Island, and now living in Kelowna, where my wife Christy and I have raised our 10 children. For the past 14 years, we've been the proud owners of St. Giuseppe's Heavenly Pizza in Moline. Actually, my son likes to say he's still not used to seeing me dressed up after so many years of wearing flour and pizza dough. It was a look I wore with pride because it was our dream, a small family-run business. It wasn't always easy, but it taught me a lot of what I needed to know about how our economy works. And with unemployment in my state, also the president's home state at 10%, there's no higher priority than jobs. But when I look at things like the stimulus policies coming from the White House, I think the folks there could use a few weeks of wearing flour and pizza dough. They need to understand the American small business owner. When you're a small business owner, you're a troubleshooter. You identify a problem and fix it so it doesn't come back. Temporary band-aids won't do the trick. That's why I'm proud to support Republicans' plans for American jobs creators. Our plan looks at the problem from the view of the small business people and works to clear out barriers to job creation by addressing excessive regulations, fixing our tax code and closing loopholes, and paying down our debt. This week, the House passed another bill from the Republican Jobs Plan. It stops an IRS withholding tax that would hurt companies doing business with the government. This bill isn't just a good idea, it's a bipartisan one. It was in our jobs plan and the president's jobs plan as well. I'm pleased it passed the House with bipartisan support. Because jobs isn't a Democrat issue or a Republican issue. It's a red, white, and blue issue. We owe it to the American people to find common ground. We did it with the free trade agreements the president recently signed, and we're doing it with the repeal of the withholding tax, and we can do more. Unfortunately, many of the jobs bills the House has passed are stuck in the Democratic-led Senate. We call these bills the Forgotten 15. Let me tell you a little about them. These bills are common sense bills that address those excessive federal regulations that are hurting small business job creation. They were written after listening to farmers, manufacturers, and small business people from around the country. A number of them have bipartisan support Yet the Senate won't give these bills a vote, and the President hasn't called for action. Politics and pessimism won't get America back on track. I was disappointed to hear the President say at a campaign fundraiser this week that Americans have lost our ambition, our imagination. I respectfully disagree. The people in my district are working harder, making more sacrifices, doing whatever it takes. He's more than welcome to come meet some of them down at St. Giuseppe's. All they're asking, all you're asking, is that we listen and get government out of the way so our economy can get back to creating jobs. My colleagues and I in the House are doing everything we can to make that happen. Republicans have a jobs plan, one with some bipartisan support, but it's stuck in the Senate. We're asking President Obama to work with us and call on the Senate to pass the Forgotten 15 to help the private sector create jobs, American jobs desperately needed. Let's seize this opportunity. Let's build on our common ground for jobs. You can learn more about the Republican Jobs Plan at jobs.gop.gov. Thanks for taking time and have a great weekend.